Welcome back to Arizona State University, site of the 1989 World Championships Team Trials. Once again, I'm Leandra Roddy along with Kansi Johnson, and since the 1988 Olympics, the rules for gymnastics have changed somewhat. Kathy, can you explain the scoring for us? Well, they've changed to help differentiate between those top routines. As you'll see here, the value parts are worth three points. The value parts are down at the bottom. You see the competition three rules. They need two Bs, one C, and two Ds, which are the hardest value. The combination or the structure of the exercise is worth 1.5. The execution, 5.1. Now, here's where the change is. The bonus points, four-tenths of a point. All routines will be judged out of a 9.6 unless they get their bonus value, which is a little difficult to get. You have to have an extra D in your routine or moves of original combination or an original element. And those are all in the code of points. All right, it sounds very complicated, but basically it's just a 10-point system, except now you have to earn them. It's not a given. Let's go now over to the vaulting competition. Our first competitor that we are going to see is the little powerhouse, Jenny Esther. She's only 4 feet 10 inches tall, and Jenny Esther is 15 years of age. Currently, she resides in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and she is coached by Christy Kraft. Now, in vaulting, there really hasn't been a significant change since the Olympic Games. No, the only change will be in the final competition, say at the Olympic Games or at the World Championships, they will have to perform two different vaults from two different families. So that's really the only change. They will perform two vaults today in the all-around competition. They'll score the best vault in that score count. And that will happen at vault this is not Jenny's best event. She's extraordinary on the uneven bar. She has beautiful lines on all the events, and she's got good, clean form. But she's not quite as strong and powerful as some of the other gymnasts. She's an excellent student, too. She carries a 4.18 grade point average. She's performing a handspring front tuck. She does it very nicely. She could have gotten a little bit more distance from the horse. The height was ample. And, of course, the form. She's always very, very good in that category. This is her first year on the national team as we take another look. Now this score is only worth a 9.9 .9, and they actually raised the value of this vault. What's really nice is you see how tight her legs are together. Many people do what's called a cowboy, pull the knees out. Here again, good pre-flight, good push off the horse. Really the only thing lacking was that distance. And of course it's not worth a 10.0. She says her favorite gymnast is Daniela Silivash. Pretty lofty ideal. <laughs> She's going to be performing the same vault again, looking for more distance and, of course, a stuck landing, which is just so important in gymnastics. You can't give away that tenth of a point at the end of a routine or by not making your landing. It looked like she landed far back on the takeoff board. Exactly. She was really trying to get a little more power in the run, a little more explosiveness off the horse, but she over-rotated the ball. Huge step on the end, so naturally they'll take the first ball. So her first ball is the one that will count as we take another look at what went wrong. She had good push here, trying for a little more dynamics there, but definitely over-rotated. And you don't want to take that step forward. You want to stick it. Her score for the first ball was 9.412. And that will be better than the second. Her on our uneven bars routine was 9.3. Now let's go over to the uneven parallel bars. And Wendy Bruce Next is the competitor. Jean's the leader after the compulsory gymnastics. event. Wendy Bruce is 16 is years Wendy of age. Bruce. She calls North Lauderdale, Florida home right now. She really came on strong in the compulsories, which is usually not her strength. Her option was her much stronger. Nice opening. Front giant to a back giant. Pirouette right into a front. She's moving quite well. A little tighter toes and tighter leg form. Definitely help the routine. She's got enough difficulty. Giant full turn. Now you saw the leg separation on that one giant. That will be a deduction into a tuck double flyaway. Little hop on the landing. Now I think she normally does that full twisting giant right into her dismount. She added that giant in between. 
intentionally. Uh, she was a little bit off on that first time. I think she just did it for precaution. Move on to our next call. So Wendy Bruce gives a solid performance on the uneven parallel bar. With Coach Bob this is Shari Knight. And here's her mount sequence. She hops her grip, straddles up to a handstand. This is a front giant. Very difficult move. Loses a little bit of form there. Goes right into a back giant. Now, as you can see, her legs come apart. They cross a little bit. Throughout the whole routine, she just really needs to work on tightening up the form. Right there was the major leg break. She adds that giant, I think, because in warm-up, she was going directly into the double flyaway. And a tuck double flyaway, which we're, we're going to see this dismount over and over again. It's a very common dismount in gymnastics. Oh, sorry. And a hop on the landing. Let's review the scores for the gymnasts we've just seen. Jenny Esther received a 9.45 for vaulting. And Wendy Bruce, the performer we just saw on the uneven parallel bars, scored a 9.587. Welcome back to the ASU Activity Center, where we are continuing with our coverage of the team trials. The uneven parallel bars and the vault are our focus right now, but let's specifically talk about the unevens and the elements that each gymnast must include. Every event has special requirements. These are the ones for the uneven bars. You must have 10 elements in the routine with a maximum of four performed on one bar. They have to do two elements on the low bar and have one, at least one flight element. Any of these, if they're missing, it's a one-tenth of a point deduction. Most of the gymnasts have them, though. The trick here is getting the bonus points. If they don't have any bonus points, their score will come from a 9.6. Keeping those points in mind, let's introduce Juliet Bangerter. And this is her hometown, so you'll hear the crowd roar. And someone told me before the meet that one of her school teachers told the class that if they came to the meet, they'd get extra credit. <laughs> this is a good event for Juliet. Just watch for her to keep her good form. Now, giant full pirouette over the top, right into a reverse pass. Rattle back to handstand on the low bar, stalled her swing, right to a handstand. Not many gymnasts do that move anymore. Another giant swing with a full pirouette over the top, right into a tuck double fly. Yeah. That'll give her some bonus points. She's definitely got the bonus here in this routine. All right, we just saw Wendy Bruce get about a 9-5 for her routine. This, this will score higher? This should score higher. She has a little bit more difficulty in the routine. And remember, Wendy broke form a couple times in that routine. Juliet's form can be a little bit tighter, but it was pretty good routine for her. That's her full pirouette over the bar. Now, see, she should actually try and finish that a little bit closer to the handstand, but she goes right into a reverse head. That's her release move, otherwise known as a tacacho. This is her final series. Leading up to the dismount, she does a giant, another full pirouette. See how she kind of straddles a little early into that. Tuck double flyaway. The value there is in the combination. She did two difficult moves back to back. That's how you get bonus points. 